On October 7th of 2024, Unified Network Application 8.56 was released. It has support for NetFlow and packet capture on certain gateways and an improved dashboard experience, including customizable widgets. Also included is the patch for a security advisory published on October 16th of 2024, which is for a local privilege escalation vulnerability found in the self-hosted Unify controller prior to version 8.4.62 and earlier that would allow a malicious actor that already has local user privileges to escalate them to a higher privilege. So hopefully you patch for that and let's get started. Are you an individual or forward-thinking business seeking expert assistance with network engineering, storage, or virtualization projects? Maybe you're part of an internal IT team that needs to proactively manage, monitor, and secure your technology. We offer comprehensive consulting services tailored to meet your specific requirements. Whether you need fully managed or co-managed IT services, our team is ready to help you. We specialize in supporting businesses that require IT administration or teams seeking an extra layer of support to enhance their operations. Our install team is ready to assist you with all of your structured cabling and Wi-Fi planning needs as well. To learn more about any of our services, head over to lawrencesystems.com, fill out the Hire Us form, and let us start crafting the perfect IT solution for you. If you want to show some extra love for our channel, check out our swag store with shirts, hats, dust accessories, and more. We also have affiliate links down below that'll get you discounts and deals on products and services we talk about on this channel. With the ad read out of the way, let's get you back to the content that you came here for. Now I'm going to start right here with the security bulletin. This is pretty simple, but in terms of risk, there is certain risk if you have people you're worried about, such as if you've assigned a technician less privileges, or you maybe have a third party that has login with minimal privileges. There is a way in versions 8.462 and earlier to escalate those privileges. The exact methodology is not documented. I didn't see any proof of concept, so I don't know of any active exploitation. This is probably just a bug report submitted to Ubiquity, and it is fixed if you're on the latest controller version. But as noted in the security bulletin, which you'll find linked down below, if you are running 8.462 and earlier and you already have a local user on there, there is some possibility they could escalate their privileges to get full admin on that system. But it does require they have a login to even do this. This, it's not exploitable based on just having the interface exposed. Now on to Unify Network Application 856. And I feel like here in 2024, the whole 8 series has been kind of a speed run of great updates from Unify. I like the improved dashboard. The new widgets are really nice. Gives you a little bit more control. They've definitely prettied it up. The things that matter even more to me than pretty dashboards is things like NetFlow. Of note, NetFlow is not supported on the Unify Express or UXG Lite models, but if you are running a cloud gateway with version 4.1 or newer firmware, you can export NetFlow. This is pretty simple to do. You simply go over to the NetFlow, put in the IP, choose the version, and send it to your NetFlow collector. I'm really happy to see more network engineering and troubleshooting type of functionality coming into the Unify Gateway, so this is a welcome feature. Now talking about SIM activity logging. Export all your specific system logs to the network application to SIM servers, remote syslogs such as Splunk, Microsoft Sentinel, IBM QRadar, and others. Now, the big change here isn't syslog. That has been available for a while, and I've done a video talking about how to export syslog out of Unify and to something like Graylog. You'll find that video linked down below. This is using the common events log format to now export the admin activity. So this gives you a little bit more data, and this is why it's more referred to as SIM data, because we don't just want to know the IPs and things that the syslog has logged in terms of changes to the network. We want to go further and understand like admin activity. That way we can trigger on alerts. And this is what those messages look like coming into Graylog. So Unify CEF or Common Events Format, Ubiquity Unify 8.6, Admin Activity, Thomas made changes to your system settings and it has the IP I was logged into and it's all logged right here. So this is in addition to the data that gets sent to Graylog. Of note, the parsers I have do not currently, at the time of recording of this video, parse any of the CEF format. So if you're using the parsers and extractors that I have on my GitHub to import these into your gray log. Uh, currently, it seems to not work properly with these, but I'll get that updated eventually. Or if someone wants to submit a request and send me one, hey, you know how to reach out to me, hit me up on the socials from lawrencesystems.com. I'll have every way you want to communicate that and I will uh, get those changes made. But eventually I will write a updated parser. So this log data goes in there and 
comes into common format and field format, so it makes it a little bit easier to search. But right now it's not searchable other than the fact that it's all thrown in here in Graylog. But whatever logging system you use, whether it's Splunk, QRadar, or any other ones out there, there's going to be some parsing you'll have to do to match this up so that it normalizes the data into proper fields. And that brings us down to packet capture. Once again, not supported on Unify Express or UXG Lite models. Uh, this is also great because sometimes you just need to capture some packets to troubleshoot some networking. And the minimum it will do it is 30 seconds. I don't know what the total maximum is, but this is nice because you can select the network and hit capture. It'll download a standard PCAP file that you can import into Wireshark and do some network troubleshooting. Now, this was not an exhaustive list of every update and improvement or bug fix they had. There's actually quite a few improvements in this, and there was all a lot of minor ones. And go ahead and check out that list and see if any of them are interesting to you. And leave which ones are in the comments down below. I always love hearing from all of you. If you want to have a more in-depth discussion on this and other topics, head over to my forums, forums.lawrencesystems.com. If you want to know more about Unify, check out my Unify playlist, which will include that video on how to export your logs into Graylog. And well, now also your SIM logs will send over there as well. Like I said, I got to get an updated parser. And if you want to help me with that, Make sure you reach out and uh, like and subscribe to see more content from the channel. I always love hearing from all of you. So please leave those comments down below and thanks. Thanks to our sponsors for their continued support.